everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are back in the kitchen because we are doing more cooking videos and it's cooking on a budget again. You guys really enjoyed my two pound meals and if you haven't seen them, I will link them down below. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would create a few more meals for you that are really on a budget. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can buy two pieces of meat and they can produce six meals. The meats that I'm cooking with today are a whole chicken and a whole gammon joint too. And these meals are some of my kids' absolute favorites. Whenever I do a food shop, the boys always like to get quite involved and they always request what they want for their dinners throughout the week. So hopefully your kids will like these meals too. If you're new to my channel and watch me for the very first time and you like this kind of video, then I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. I post loads and loads of cooking videos on my channel and most of them are cooking on a budget so if you like that sort of thing then I would love to have you as one of my viewers so let's get cooking so out of all of these ingredients I'm going to be making three different meals and they're all going to be using parts of the chicken so this is an extra large chicken from Tesco's it was four pounds but you can do the deal where you get three for ten pounds which would make this even cheaper so the first dish I'm going to make is a chicken roast. So I'm just gonna cut up some potatoes, put the chicken in the middle, cut up some carrots as well, and then roast them in the oven for about an hour, but the chicken will go in for an hour and a half, so I always put that in first. After that, I will use the chicken that we have left over because we do always have extra chicken left over as there's just four of us. I will be making it into a chicken curry. So I'll do like a chicken korma. I'll use the Greek yogurt, some chopped tomatoes, all of these different spices here. I've got ginger, turmeric, <laughs> garam masala, I'll use some rice as well and I will just shred up some chicken and add that into my dish. And lastly, I will then boil up my chicken bones and then it makes a really, really nice chicken stock. And with that, I'll be making some soup. So I will use butternut squash and the rest of my carrots and the chicken stock from the chicken and also these spices again and it makes a really nice like curried soup. I will show you each one of the recipes now and I will write down below like while I'm cooking them how much each dish will cost you. Right, so for tonight's dinner, we are having a roast chicken. So I am gonna do this in one pot, and it's gonna be chicken, potatoes, and carrots. So it's gonna be super easy and super quick too. What you need to do is get your chicken and put some fry light on top of it with some paprika too, just to make the skin extra tasty. Then you wanna pop it in the oven on 180 for about half an hour. While that's cooking, you wanna dice up your potatoes into little like roast potato size portions. I like to keep the skin on because that is where all the nutrients are. Plus, it's a lot quicker and easier. After half an hour, take the chicken out, put the potatoes in with the chicken and a bit more fry light over the potatoes. Pop it back in for another half an hour. While that's cooking, you want to peel your carrots and then cut them into little batten shapes. Then for the last half an hour, take the chicken and potatoes out, give it all a good mix about, add the carrots in and a little bit of honey too. That will just give it a really nice sweetness to the meal. Give it another half an hour at 180 in the oven and your meal is finished. One pot, one thing to tidy up and you still will have loads of chicken left over for the rest of your meals. Right, so in the soup I have put some onions, some carrots, some butternut squash. I put in the stock from my chicken that I boiled the bones of last night and then I have added all of these spices. I've got garam masala, ginger, curry powder and turmeric as well and then you just pop the lid on for about half an hour, let everything simmer away until it's nice and soft then I'll blitz it up and it makes the most delicious soup. So this soup makes enough for four people, plus you will have leftovers, and it's gonna cost you around one pound at 72p. Your butternut squash is one pound. You'll use 22 peas worth of carrots, 10 peas worth of onions. I'm not gonna count the spices because they are a pound each, but for a huge bag, and I just decant them into these, so it doesn't cost very much at all. And I'm gonna say I'm using 10% of my chicken as it's the chicken stock. So I'm taking 40p of that and putting it into this meal. And like I said, you have got some lunches here too for following days. Right, so tonight for dinner, we are having a chicken curry. So we've just been like deboning all the chicken that's been left over and we are popping it in here. So I just thought I'd show you that. And then I have made like a little spices kind of um, mixture to go on top of it. What I have used is some curry powder, some garam masala, 
some ginger, some turmeric, but I wanted to show you that this is how I buy my spices. So I buy them in a big thing like this, and this whole thing is one pound. Then I decant it into this once this is run out. Um, that's a really good way of saving money because obviously you get loads for a pound. And these jars are about a pound each, so by buying the bigger lot, you are saving money in the long run. Right, so we're gonna add in some tomato puree and then we will put in some of this yogurt as well. We'll make some rice. I've just melted a chicken stock in here and I'm just gonna add a bit of the liquid to it. I'm, I'm gonna add it slowly and just let it bubble off. So obviously there's a big cup here and we'll just add to it every now and then. And then over here I have got some rice cooking and that is our curry done. For these three meals, my main meat is obviously my gammon joint. I'm going to put this in the slow cooker for like six hours and then the meals that this is going to make is ham, egg and chips. I'll make my own chips all the time. I just put some fry light on top and it makes it so much healthier than buying them from the shop and cheaper. And then my second meal that I'm going to make is carbonara. So I put peas in there. I put like half of this soft cheese in there as well. Some pasta. I will add some vegetable stock as well. And then I will use some of this gammon joint cut up really small. And I'll pop that into my um, carbonara. And the third meal I'm going to make are some homemade pizzas. So I'll make these with tortilla wraps. I'll put some of this tomato puree on top. I will grate it some cheese and um, I'll pop those in the oven with some um, of the gammon on top as well. I forgot to say that I will be using some onions into my carbonara as well. So that's my three meals with my one gammon joint, which was three pounds and six P. Right, so tonight's dinner is ham, egg and chips. I have had my gammon joint in my slow cooker since 10 a.m. this morning. I put it in there on high for about three hours and then I turned it right down to low and it's just been in there ever since. So what I'll do is it cut my potatoes into chip shapes. Again, I leave the skins on because I'm a bit lazy <laughs> and it's just so much easier. And then what I'll do is pop those in the oven for about 45 minutes. And then lastly, I will fry up some eggs, get the gammon joint out, cut it up and then serve it up. My kids love this meal and actually this is one of Chris's like all time favorite meals when he was a kid. His mum used to do this bit in the deep fat fryer. So I do it, I feel like a lot healthier with my um, homemade chips that I put in the oven with a little bit of fry light on it. Right, so for tonight's dinner, I am making everyone some macaroni cheese. And what we're going to have on top of the macaroni cheese is some of the gammon. So I'm gonna use a quarter of the gammon and sprinkle that on top of each of our macaroni cheese. This is actually what I did say was going to be our carbonara, but the boys decided they fancied macaroni cheese instead. So how I make my cheesy white sauce is I put a knob of butter into my pan and I let it just melt. I will then add some flour into my pan and mix it all up until it becomes like a little ball. Then I will add in some milk and I will keep on adding into the milk as it thickens to make a really nice creamy sauce. I will then also add in some paprika because I feel like it just gives it a really nice flavor. And then I will grate my cheese and add that in at the last minute as well. While I'm making my white sauce, I will be boiling up my macaroni cheese pasta. These are like little tube kind of pastas that are quite small. This is one of the boys' favorite dinners and I haven't had macaroni cheese since I was probably about 15. So I'm quite looking forward to it too. Right, it's homemade pizzas for dinner tonight. So we've got all the cheese grated up there. We've I got some ham cake. here. You did the grating, didn't you? They have a wholemeal wrap as the base. They've got some of that um, pureed tomato on the bottom and then they are putting their ham on. Don't forget to go right to the edges. Otherwise it won't be very cheesy at the edges. <coughs> oh, that looks good. This is a really fun dinner for the kids to have because they love making their own things and they can make them just as they like it, so it kind of guarantees they'll always eat it. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you have any budget meals that you don't mind sharing with me, I would love for you to do so, and I would also love to feature it on my channel sometime soon. So if you have any, just write it down in the comments down below, and then if I do feature it, I will of course tell everyone where I got that meal idea from as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.